Hey, what's going on guys? It's Track YT here on it back with another brand new video guys. Today, what I wanted to do is show you guys how to download and install Optifine for Minecraft 1.16. So before we jump right into how to download Optifine, I quickly wanted to explain what it does. Essentially what it does is it allows or makes it so that way your Minecraft runs a lot smoother as well as it kind of allows to add even more details into the game. But what I mean by that is when you download and install Optifine, now you're able to use custom sky texture packs as well as now you'll be able to use custom shaders packs, which a lot of people really like. So if you want your Minecraft to look like this, you're going to need Optifine. So let's go ahead and jump right into the download process. So we're going to start things off over on our desktop and the first things first that you're going to need to do is you're going to actually need to open up your Minecraft launcher. You can see I already have Optifine installed but what we need to do before we do any form of installation is we actually need to run the original Minecraft version the basically the vanilla version of Minecraft for whatever version you want to install Optifine on. So for my case I need to actually run 1.16 Minecraft before I can actually install it. So all you have to do is go ahead and load that version up. If you've already loaded up the version in the past you don't have to worry about this step but for those of you that are just starting to go into 1.16 you're going to need to load this up so all you have to do is get to this screen and then you can literally just exit out and once you've loaded that up now we can get into the download process so there's two ways that you can actually install optifine i'll show you the really really simple way first and then i'll show you the actually my personal recommendation because if you're going to add more mods other than optifine i would suggest going with the second way so for the easy way you're actually going to need to go over to the optifine to find website. I will leave this link down in the description down below. When you come to it, it'll look like this. And right now, the only versions that are available for Optifine in the newer versions of Minecraft, such as 1.16, are preview versions. They're not fully, I guess, done versions, so they're not even an official release. They're basically like beta versions, but they work just fine. So you're going to need to come up in here and find the version that you just ran. So for my example, I just ran the 1.16.1 of vanilla Minecraft. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download the most recent. So I'm going to hit download right here and then when it brings you to this screen I would suggest not touching anything at all you're gonna see up in this top right corner right here you're gonna hit skip basically what this page is is it's an ad so we're just gonna skip through that and then it's gonna bring you to this page where it says download preview optifine click that and it should start downloading down here and then it's just gonna randomly pop up another ad you can ignore that but down here it's gonna say that this file type is harmful for your computer the reason for this is because it is a jar file and a jar file is unfortunately an executable file which basically means that it can mess up your computer if it's a virus. Now, this is not a virus. I promise you that this has been downloaded millions and millions of times. If for some reason you feel that this is unsafe for your computer, I would just not downloading it or running it through a virus detection software. But if you're here, you probably don't care and you're ready to download. So just hit keep and then you should go ahead and drag that on over to your desktop. So once you have it over on your desktop, all you have to do is go ahead and click on that bad boy, hit install. It's going to take a second or two to install and then it'll say Optifine is successfully installed. And then it's literally installed. That is the installation process for Optifine. So once you go ahead and do that, you will notice back in your Minecraft loader, you'll see that a new installation has populated Minecraft 1.16.1 for Optifine. And that's how you know that is correctly installed. Now, that is the quick and easy way. I'm going to go ahead and show you the other way. Now, I would suggest actually doing it the way I'm about to show you, and that's by downloading Fabric. And that's basically like Forge. It's the new mod loader for Minecraft 1.16 and above. And the reason why I suggest doing it this way is if you're ever going to add other mods such as World Edit or Schematica or any other mods that you plan to install into Minecraft, you're going to want to do it this way. So that way, because you're going to have to do it this way anyways in the future so you might as well do it this way now so to do it the fabric way what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go over to this website which i will also leave down in the description this is the downloader or the place where you can go ahead and download fabric for minecraft all you're going to want to do is pick the windows installer or the universal installer if you're on a mac i'm not 100 percent sure if this works but if you're on a windows device all you do is hit download install it right here and it will start to download it down here and then you can go ahead and drag that over here to your desktop and then we'll go ahead and we'll snag our next mod that we're going to need to download and this is the fabric api this is basically the mod that allows all of the other mods within fabric to work i don't know why they put two mods basically downloading the loader and then downloading a mod but this is just how it is so you come to this website you hit files and then you want to make sure that you're downloading the fabric api for the same exact version that you're using on everything and what i mean by that is if you're downloading it for 1.16.1 you need to make sure everything that you download is for 
that same version. So for my specific example, right here where it says 1.16.1 Fabric API, that is the one that we want. We don't want 1.15.2, we don't want 1.14.4, we want the same 1.16.1. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that, and then we're just gonna go ahead and download right here. And it's gonna take a couple of seconds for it to start. It's gonna count down right in the middle, and then once it downloads, it'll start to download down here. It has that same message saying it's a, uh, I guess a harmful file. It's also because it's a jar file and potentially could be harmful, but this has been downloaded right here over 3.2 million times. If that has a virus, there's 3.2 million people with viruses, which I've downloaded this. I don't have any viruses. So take your chances as you want, but I'm 100% sure that this is not gonna hurt your computer. And then go ahead and drag that onto your desktop as well. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab our last thing. This is OptiFabric. This is basically what allows Optifine to run within the Fabric mod. It's like basically a buddy mod for Optifine. You need both to be able to run Optifine through Fabric. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna come over to files and we are going to find our version that we need. Now, for some reason, this doesn't have anything specific to the version. It really doesn't matter. What I would suggest is downloading the most recent full version, or actually it's right here. It says game version right here. So we're going to need the beta 1.16.1. So we're going to grab that right there and we're going to hit download as well. It's going to do the same thing. It's going to count down and then it's going to go ahead and download it on its own. And then when it downloads, you're also going to hit keep again and then just drag that on over to your desktop. Desktop. And so to install Fabric, we need to do is go ahead and click on this guy right here. It's going to bring up this. Make sure that you're on Minecraft version 1.16.1. Hit install, and then it should literally take two seconds, and it should be installed. And now what you're going to do is you're going to open up a new file explorer, and then you're just going to type up here percent app data percent. And then you're going to go ahead and click on your dot Minecraft folder. You're going to see that you now have a Fabric folder right here. Don't worry about that. And you should now have a mods folder. If for some reason you do not have a mods folder, come up here hit new folder and just name it mods. But I have one. You can see that I already have a bunch of stuff in here. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that, everything that's in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag these guys right here. So our fabric API, our Opti fabric, and then our Optifine we downloaded originally. We're going to drag all of those over here into our mods folder. And then we can go ahead and close out of that. And then we'll load up Minecraft. And now what we are looking for is the fabric loader 1.16.1. We're going to click that. We're going to load it up. And then if everything loads, up properly and your Minecraft doesn't crash, that means that you installed it properly and correctly. And once your Minecraft loads up like mine did, you will notice down here in the bottom left corner, it'll say Minecraft 1.16 Fabric. That's the version that we're on. And you also see that the Optifine mod was installed down there. So you can go ahead and go into any of your worlds. You can go ahead and I'll just go into this one right here. And the actual easiest way to be able to see if you installed Optifine correctly is one, you can either try to go into your options, video settings, and shade and if that appears, if the actual selection for shaders appears, that means it's installed. But the other quick way to see if you installed Optifine correctly is if on your keyboard you press C, you'll see that it zooms in for you. That's the easiest way to tell if you installed Optifine correctly. And that's it, guys. That's how you go ahead and you download Optifine for Minecraft 1.16. And I'm sure this probably is going to work for versions above 1.16, but this specifically works for Minecraft 1.16. So I hope that it was helpful for a lot of you. If you have any issues or anything's not working, definitely let me know down below. I'll do my best to answer any questions that you guys have because I know downloading mods for Minecraft isn't always an easy process and I definitely in the beginning used to have a lot of problems and kind of got confused with all the files that you had to download. So if you guys have any questions, definitely leave them down below and I'll do my best to get back to all of you. But if you guys did enjoy today's video, definitely show your support down below and while you guys are down there, might as well hit that subscribe button. But as always guys, I'll see you all. See you guys next time. Peace out.